why choose the UK uh, as your next step? Some of you are already present there. Some of you, some of you are thinking about it. Uh, the good news is that we have a new um, agreement uh, on trade and cooperation, uh, which means that the um, period of uncertainty is over. Brexit is over, it's done and over with, and we're, we're all happy. So things are clear now and we can move uh, to the next page of our cooperation. Um, here are some facts about the UK. Um, main, I would say more impressive facts um, about why to enter the UK market. Uh, as you see a very large economy, uh, um, 66 million people. And uh, the UK definitely is one of the best places to go global from. Um, some surprising facts maybe that you, you haven't uh, realized before is uh, the amount of tea the British drink every day uh, and some famous British dishes, uh, their uh, culinary specialities, uh, which at the end of the day, because, because the UK is such a diverse culture of people, um, uh, we have Indian food more, more popular than the traditional British food. And if you've ever gone to the UK, you might have uh, seen the Red Lion pub. Well, there are more than 500 of them. Um, some other facts about the UK, and I won't read through all of them. Uh, we will anyway send you the presentations after that. Um, but uh, for example, this, uh, this picture behind me is the Shard, which is the highest building in Europe. Uh, and uh, uh, if you ever go to London and haven't gone to the Shard yet, this is something I uh, highly suggest because it's very impressive to have tea or lunch um, there. Um, uh, going, going to the more serious stuff, um, um, the UK does offer a very stable and secure business environment, uh, transparency, simplicity, um, and um, um, Ease to do business is one of the top uh, in the world. Uh, when it comes to corporate tax, uh, it's 19%, uh, and um, the World Bank has um, um, declared the, the UK to be one of the uh, most friendly, business friendly um, places to, uh, in the world. So, um, definitely um, something to consider if you're going to the UK. Um, uh, looking at uh, UK innovation, uh, UK prides itself in uh, its innovation centers in uh, bringing companies from all over the world to the UK that are very innovative. Uh, and uh, if you are a company like that, uh, definitely is the place for you. The infrastructure, um, uh, let me mention here that the current um, government um, has put a lot of effort and budget into um, refurbishing the infrastructure. So this is also a possibility for Slovene companies to be present uh, in different tenders. Uh, the UK is, is rebuilding itself and remodernizing itself and keeps on doing so. Um, also software and technology, these are probably the two fastest growing sectors in the UK. London definitely is one of the big capitals that dominates um, the, the European tech landscape uh, and fastest growing sector in the UK, um, a very connected place um, for sure um, is London. Um, um, we had one company here who said they are also in FinTech. FinTech, so financial technology is one of the um, hippiest, I would say growing sectors in the UK. Uh, as the UK uh, keeps uh, being one of the leading financial centers in the world uh, and uh, is particularly interesting because it has a very um, accessible uh, framework when it, when it comes to legal, um, legal stuff and standards. Um, creative excellence. Uh, the creative industry is also very strong. We will have today in our panel a Slovenian lady who is from the creative industries um, who will be talking about why she uh, works from London. Um, here we have the gaming industry that's huge, um, particularly in Scotland, uh, and obviously the, the, the UK film and TV industries, um, also the, the creative industries in terms of marketing, advertising, very strong. Healthcare and life sciences. 
Um, well, we saw uh, with the uh, vaccine of AstraZeneca how strong uh, the, the UK government is in building a cooperation between uh, business and government. Uh, so it was a big success story. Um, and the UK remains to be one of the big centers of healthcare and life science. So also interesting opportunity for slipping companies. And e-commerce. Um, so the UK is uh, probably um, the, the, the top three markets for even for Slovenians to order from. Okay, now with Brexit, things are a little bit different, but still it's a, it's a huge market for e-commerce um, and also something uh, that is interesting for Slovene companies. 